In this tip, I'm going to show you how to create this three panel column chart and allow the user to click on a bar to sort by that measure. For example, if I click on sales for chairs, the data is now going to sort by sales. If I click on accessories for quantity, it sorts by quantity. If I click on profit, it sorts by profit, and also the item you click on will be highlighted. In this example, you can see I have a bar chart by subcategory for sales, profit, and quantity. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a set based on subcategory to allow me to highlight the subcategory I clicked on. I'm going to right click on subcategory, choose create, and then set. And I'll just leave it called subcategory set. And for the purpose of getting it set up, I'm going to choose accessories. I can then drag my subcategory set onto the color of the all marks card. And you can see we now have that bar highlighted. The next thing we need to do is be able to sort by the measure that we click on. To do that, I'm going to create a new parameter and I'll just call it my measure parameter and I'm going to make it a string. I'm going to default it to say sales. I now need to create three calculations. The first one I'm just going to call sales text and I'm just going to have the word sales in the calculation. My second calculation is profit text. And that one's just going to have the word profit. Lastly, I'm going to create a calculated field for quantity. So I'm going to call quantity text. And all it's going to have in the text is a string that says quantity. Okay, the fourth thing I want to do is create a calculated field that's going to allow me to sort the subcategories. So I'm just going to call this my sorter. I'm going to use a case statement. So case, and I'm going to evaluate my measure parameter. When the word inside the parameter says sales, then I'm going to return sales. When it says profit, then I'm going to return profit. When I return quantity, then I want it to return quantity. End. I'm going to click on my subcategory field on the rows and choose sort. I'm going to sort by a field. The field I want to sort by is my sorter, and I want to sort in descending order. Hit OK. So now we need to set up our actions. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is set up my set action. So I'm going to go to Worksheet Actions, and I'm going to add a Change Set Values action. Let's call this update subcategory set. I'm going to do it on select, single select only. I'm going to update the subcategory set, assign the values to it, and then when they clear it, I want to keep the values. So let's hit OK, hit OK again. And now you can see that my set action works. OK, so it's just changing the bar that's colored. In order to allow a bar to be sorted when I click on it, I need to update all three of my marks cards. So on the sum of quantity shelf, I'm going to drag quantity text onto detail. On my sum of profit shelf, I'm going to drag profit text onto detail. And on sum of sales, I'm going to drag sales text on detail. Now I need to set up three different parameter actions. So let's go up to worksheet actions. I'm going to add a change parameter action and I'm going to call this update sales parameter. The parameter I want to update is my measure parameter. My source field is sales text and I want to leave everything else the same. I'm going to add a second change parameter action. I'm going to call this one update profit parameter and this time we're going to update the source field with profit text. Hit OK. And then we're going to put a third change parameter action, and let's call this one update quantity parameter. And the source field now is going to be quantity text, and make sure you pick your parameter. 
So all this is doing is when I click on a bar, it's just going to pass the word sales, profit, or quantity to my parameter. So let's see how that works. So I'm going to click on accessories for quantity. And you'll see accessories becomes highlighted due to my set action. And now my parameter says, my measure parameter says quantity. So when I sort, it's now sorting by quantity. If I click on phone and sales, it's now sorting by sales. If I click on accessories, it now sorts by accessories. The last thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this highlighting so that when I click on something, I want it to de-highlight. So to do that, I'm going to create a calculated field called dummy highlight. And I'm just going to put the word dummy in there. You can really put any word you want. I need to drag that to the all marks card onto the detail shelf. I'm going to then create a worksheet action, add an action, highlight, and I'm going to call this highlight dummy. I want to run it when they click on something. And down in the target highlighting, I want to choose selected fields and then dummy highlight. Click OK and click OK again. And now everything works and everything sorts and I get my nice animations. Now keep in mind when you put the sheet into a dashboard, you're going to need to change all of the worksheet actions to dashboard actions. Hope you found that useful. Have a great day.